Hi, in this video, we're going to use PowerDirector and I'm going to show you how to speed up a video. This is great for people who talk slow and also for sales videos. As you might know, speaking a little faster might hold people's attention. So here we are in our PowerDirector. I've pulled in a video clip with an attached audio clip. We're going to ignore this down here. I'll show you why I have it in a minute. So here's your video clip. And the original is 3 minutes and 33 seconds. I've talked a little slow in it and we'd like to speed it up. So we're going to click and make sure it's blue. Then we're going to go to Power Tools. Once this opens, you're going to go over here on your left and see Video Speed. Here we have the option to change it a few ways. We can just blue highlight and click the number down. It doesn't work always that well. Now we can take it down to a minute and 32 seconds, but that might be a little much. Because here you can see we have multiplier of 2.30 on our speed. That's really going to be a bit too fast. But what you can do is you can always come over, click movie, click play, and listen to it and watch it to see if it's going a bit faster than what you want. So let's go back and we're going to take this and we don't want it that fast so we can just go in and say we're going to lower it by one minute. Now we're going to look here to see our multiplier is 1.40. That's going to speed it up just a little bit. And as you can tell, it's going to speed up the video and the audio because they're attached. If you think that's where you'd like it, then we can leave it just like this. And as you can see, we are down to 2 minutes, 32 seconds, and 29 milliseconds. Now, why I have this extra audio down here. Many times I use an audio that's made from Audacity rather than the actual audio that comes with my screen capture. Keep in mind, if you do this, then the audio that is not attached will not be shrunk down and sped up. What you can do is hold the control key on your keyboard grab the edge and we're going to shrink it right down. Now you're going to want to go ahead and listen to this again and watch it to make sure it's doing what you want. Otherwise you might end up with something you're not happy with. So here's another thing we might want to use this for. Say that I have a video intro. In fact Brian just got us a video intro so we're going to use that as an example. The video intro was made and it's 10 seconds and I think that's a little bit too long. So let's say, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this so it doesn't confuse us. So let's say that I want to put in my video intro. I have decided that it's going to, of course from listening and watching, I'm going to put it in right here. I'll make my split and I'm going to move this line over and give myself plenty of room. I'm going to grab my video intro and bring it down. Like I said, this video intro is 10 seconds. So I'll just click on it, go to my power tools, go to my video speed. I'm going to take this 10 seconds right down to say 5. And that ought to work fine. Now it's going to move along a good bit faster and people won't leave before it's over. So once I'm done just click and butt my other video right on up. We can go to movie and we will be able to watch the entire thing and it's going to be just a little bit faster than what it was. We hope this helps so that you can get your videos up to speed. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips here on YouTube for more video, image, and blogging tips. Have a great day!